Ruby of Ruination. Item number, SCP-031. Object class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-031 is kept in a secure satellite facility in O5 clearance needed. The item is to be kept floating in an upright cylindrical vessel of liquid mercury, HG, at least 1 meter in diameter and 0.5 meters deep. Vessel is to be rotated at a minimum rate of 180 RPM at all times, using at least two redundant power sources. No research has been authorized for SCP-031. Containment is paramount. Any person or persons entering containment area are to be terminated immediately. The sole exception to this are level 4 personnel performing routine maintenance on rotation apparatus, scheduled monthly. Description SCP-031 is a deep red, transparent cut gemstone, some 4 cubic centimeters in volume. Attempts at measuring mass directly have been unsuccessful. A rough estimate from the amount of energy required to keep it airborne is 4 grams, placing it within the normal range of density for red corundum, ruby. The item's history is largely unknown, and even speculation is difficult. SCP-031 was salvaged from a shipwreck in the Philippines, which appeared to have been caused by the item. The item had come to rest on a bed of fine sand, slowing its descent. A salvage team arrived soon after the ship went down, and fortunately spotted the item before it buried itself in the sand. The item was passed around in local circles for a time, before a field agent witnessed a demonstration of its properties, and seized it. When SCP-031 comes into contact with a solid object, it adheres to the nearest point and begins to vibrate at that object's resonance frequency, causing the object to vibrate with exponentially increasing amplitude until the point of fracture. This reaction is capable of toppling any artificial structure in seconds. Effects on actual landforms can quickly propagate and become full-scale disasters, including earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic upheaval. It is theorized that the object could cause substantial cracks in the Earth's crust if allowed. Furthermore, the effects of the item have proven quite disruptive in complex biological systems, irreparably damaging liver tissue in particular. Prolonged contact with the item results in rapidly progressing Ebola-like symptoms due to the rupture of internal membranes. Death usually results from liver failure or internal hemorrhage after roughly four hours of contact, figured cumulatively. It must be noted that the object can and will destroy any abiotic solid in a matter of minutes. Even flexible materials such as foam and fabric are quickly destroyed at the molecular level. Granular substances, such as sand, fare marginally better, but are soon degraded and become too fluid to support the item. The object displays positive buoyancy in liquid mercury, HG, allowing its vibrations to disperse harmlessly. The central depression, generated by rotation, keeps the object centered on the liquid surface and counteracts its attraction to the walls of the vessel. These combined factors are sufficient for an indefinite workable containment solution. Current plans for SCP-031 are undefined. The item has potential for immense strategic value, but may prove too difficult to control. At this point, the best we can hope for is destruction or safe disposal. <laughs>